Welcome to the channel. So I think this will be a very short video, but here's the attenuator or a variable attenuator I was mentioning the shorts. I got this from a friend of mine, Yussi. Uh, he gave it to me and thank you for Yussi for that because I will need this in my other project which I will be doing this spring related radios and I didn't have one so and he had one and he kindly enough gave it to me. The interesting part is that this is made by JFW Industries in USA and there's a sticker here so it's meant designed not to be opened though when you place this many screws everywhere well it's bound to be that someone will one day open it. Let's see how far we'll get and what's actually inside this variable attenuator. I think this should just leave with the cover. Um, let's remove the sticker first. Spring. All right, and scraping this one out of here. All right, now the sticker is off. Okay, so they definitely didn't want anyone really to all right, this one left. Oh. First opening unboxing of this variable attenuator. Okay, that was a bit of a surprise. So what you see here, let's let's look. You see this knob is rotating and what we have is the cams, cams that are rotating and the switches going up and down, connecting parts together as the cam rotates. Okay, I guess based on the sound, I should have expected that. <laughs> really heavy duty made. It's a single block of metal here, another here, screwed together extremely robust uh, if anyone knows if this uh, what's this called top j j f w industries in indiana still makes products are they still this well made this is really beautiful but, oh there, there's you can see there's there's that come kind of like these things connectors that these brass parts connect together and push down interesting Really mechanical. Okay, I will now let you know in a while if I decide to continue opening this further and how much. I know it's curious what's inside here. I'm slightly worried that when I open this, if I open the wrong ones, it will break apart something and just not remove the bottom. Eee. Okay, I will think about it. See you in a while. Okay, so I decided to hell with it. I want to know how it works. Um, they clearly didn't want anyone to open this. Oh, the bait plate is moving. Oh, let's see what will happen. Now you will see the scary thing, you know, when you open up gold cameras, anything like this mechanics. Like I said, really old ones which are completely custom. -made. Every shim, every screw, every, everything was custom made. And when you open, like I said, really, when you open it up, this is the scary part. Because there's no living person. Okay, so those screws definitely are not out yet. Some of them is still holding on. Ooh. So what's inside here? Oh, this explains a lot. So what you see here is connectors with insulators. And there's like... This is really fancy. It's really beautifully made. This is something, wow. I raise my hat to those guys that they nowadays do something like this. So it's a casting which has been, I guess, milled. Or it's two different parts, not sure. Um, and there's this, uh, the pins, which you saw on the other side. I will not turn this the other way around in case something drops from here. But the pins which are, there's the camshafts on the other side. When they rotate, they push the pins up and down. And those pins somehow, I guess, actuate these 
contact contacts here that form contacts with certain combination of intervals. Now I will show you what the other side has. Hold on. Okay, there you, I hope. This is what it looks inside. A resistor network with the contact points and then these pins here or contacts that move against these pins according to the mechanical push rods which move according to the camshaft of the cams. Wow. I hope it wasn't too unclear explanation. Okay, I think I will not dis I can't disassemble more, so this is the heart of the whole attenuator anyway. And inside here I will not open this up because opening this up would expose the pins and the spring mechanism. And I'm pretty sure that's what it is only there. It's the springs and the pins combined to these with insulators and so on to form the electrical connections based on the switch. Wow, this is beautiful. Okay, I will put it back together and pray that it works still. So, here's it finally put together. Uh, looks pretty amazing quality. Uh, but yeah, they definitely put the effort into this one. I'm wondering how much this cost actually. And this dial just left, but that was entirely my fault. But here it is, the variable attenuator by the JFW Industries from Indiana. Yeah, this is what it looks inside and this is how it works. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.